So, uh, it's been a little while since I was visited by the god Clang. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how this happened. Like, it's, it's clipping through other blocks. And, uh, if, in case you didn't know, this is the, uh, well, it was the elevator that I was attempting to build here. Um, obviously, that is not a thing that is going to happen now. Um, I wonder if maybe I could possibly pull that out of here. And then, preferably without dying. But it's too wide for that guy to go in there. So I'm going to see if I can pull this guy if he has... He does not. Okay. Huh. So I need to make a little ship, basically like a little tug ship is what I need. So, um, I think what we're gonna do is we'll take one of these and uh, we'll adapt it slightly. So like this one, we'll take this one. So once we've got, I don't know, like everything that we need in here. So there's a lot of stuff that we don't need, right? So like the rail gun, we don't need. Uh, this we don't need, especially if it's just gonna be a tug. No! Dang it. Uh, come here, those are like, important parts. I would like to keep those if possible. Thank you. What is... Whoa, hey, what was that? Hello? Hello? Okay, I got it. Okay. That was the ammo. Came out. Alright. <sighs> okay. So, first things first. Uh, this guy, you can turn off. So with that kind of out of the way, uh, we're definitely not going to need a camera here anymore. So we can do that. Um, how big is the small grid magnet? I know we've got this one, but what about this one? Huge. But it does fit on the end there. So yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. I like that. Okay, so now that we've got that sort of figured out, I'm gonna need some plate. Uh, let's see. And uh, in case I don't forget the intros, this is zero one of one and we are playing Space Engineers Survival Small Grid Only. So that is what it is. That is what we're attempting to do. And uh, hopefully we can actually make this thing work a little bit. All right, so from here, I think we go with this. Okay, yeah, we'll go there, we'll go there. And then we can put that guy in there and that then lines up with all of this very nicely. There we go, and then we have that, and we have that, and we uh, that and that. Okay. And then we'll go into here and yeah, that'll go there. And we'll throw that in there. And now we have just kind of like a little cone section up here, I guess. Alright. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the center part there, so I'm just going to leave it blank for now. Um, okay, so, uh, what we need to do now is get this guy here, and have that be a switch lock, and then have that be removed, and then everything else should be peachy. So, all we gotta do is point our nose at something, and then hopefully it will let us pull it out of here. Um, yeah. It's probably not gonna end very well. 
Okay, so we are locked, and we are all the way... Like, there is no pulling this thing out. It is stuck. Okay. So we'll leave that on there for just stability, I suppose. Um, now, what we can do... Hopefully this doesn't destroy me. Is it's much easier to take out these. Okay, that got sent out that way, which is fine. Okay, that one got sent that way. And that one also got sent that way, okay. And then for, well, okay, let's see if we can move it yet. No, there is no moving that, okay. So it is still stuck somewhere. Um, okay, so how about we get rid of this? Okay, it's moving a little bit more, okay. The, the reason why I wanna to try to save this is because I spent a lot of time putting this thing together. Okay. No. <laughs> I had one of those things on there. Dang it. All right. All right. So there is that. Looks like it is now free. And that somehow made it all the way in out of there. Ah. <sighs> Man, this is just terrible. All right, now let's get rid of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, more things are breaking. Am I still connected? I am still connected, okay. Okay, let's see if I can actually move this thing now. Hopefully I can. Oh, I can, yes. All right, so now it's just being very, very careful about getting this thing out. And then maybe I can actually salvage it a little bit. Okay, no, so it doesn't like that, all right. So I'll try to bring it out of here the same way that it was meant to go. very carefully if I can I think we got it maybe no I gotta get this perfectly out of there there we go look at that all right so that is my little elevator I'm gonna see if I can fix it up a little bit I was able to salvage the elevator, which is good. Um, the only problem is I have to try to get the pistons to work again. And I think the reason why this went a little buggy, I guess, is because when I was trying to set up everything on some of these, um, it was like it wanted to jump to a different angle for some reason. Um, so like I have this set to where there's like no rotation on the rotors if they're locked They shouldn't be spinning at all But like as soon as it tries to connect um, It tries to go to like 90 degrees when it should be at like 180, right? So it's just I don't know why I Mean it shouldn't be doing that at all to be honest But I'm thinking it might have to do with there being a rotational component um on these things when I place them so like even though like this should be like the same no matter which way you put it I think there's actually like a rotation on here and when the rudder connects it senses what rotation this part is at and then that's what it bases its rotation off of so sorry I've got hiccups and I'm trying to make them not be hiccupy um, wow look at all this all of this stuff 
but um yeah so it's i just i don't know i got i gotta f what's probably gonna end up happening is i'm gonna replace all of these and then put in like i don't know like different ones or something but the other thing that i have to do is fix the pistons on here as well because i'm pretty sure i blew off the uh yeah the piston heads so there we go so there's that piston head back on there uh there's that piston head back on there. All right. But yeah, I was I was planning on like working on this like off camera, and then like when I made the next video, like it would be done, and I'd be like, hey, look at this cool thing that I did. Um. But yeah, as soon as as soon as the clang happened, I'm like, yeah, I should probably record this. So yeah, that's why I'm here doing doing what I'm doing. All right. So, uh, from here, we need to throw on a rotor head, or just a rotor, I suppose. Now, hold on, do I need this one, or should I try this one? Because I was using the advanced rotor before, I'm going to go with this rotor instead, and see if that maybe somehow makes a difference. So, I mean, hopefully, it... no, go on, go, go on there, properly, please. Thank you. All right, and then I'll just use uh, that rotor and see if that makes a difference. Um, I mean, there was no real reason for me to use the advanced rotors to begin with, so maybe it's, I don't know, maybe it'll be, maybe it'll be fine, who knows? <laughs> I certainly do not, okay. But uh, this has to be renamed rotor A elevator. Elevator, that was terrible spelling. there we go. All right, and then I need to put another rotor on here, so that means I need to back this thing up a bit more. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, that's enough, okay. All right, so that goes there. And we'll take off that piece, there we go. And we'll get this built. All right, so that can go in there. Go. All right, so the only thing I need this thing to do, actually, what if, okay, what if I rotor lock it and then I turn it off? Like, does it still con, I mean, it should still connect, right? But it won't try to do like any kind of rotation. So I'm gonna try that. So we'll do that. Uh, the inertia tensor has to be on for both of these. Um, so I'll do that. The, on the pistons, not so much, but on the rotors, absolutely. Uh, right. I was looking for neutral tensor. There we go. Okay. So this is sort of back to where it needs to be. Okay. So let me, uh, I don't even remember how I had this thing. I mean, this is just gonna, it's just gonna have to be put back in there. For me to figure out how the hell this is gonna go. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Um, okay, so now that we've got that, oh, whoops, I meant to disconnect so I could see it from the side, but maybe I don't need to. Okay. So uh, I need this thing to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Uh, I have to replace all of the piston heads, or the rotor heads on here, with the new ones. Okay. So that can go, and that can go. Alright, so rotor uh, head, rotor part, whatever you want to call it. That goes there, and then sort of like how a knight moves over one, down three, instead of two, but yeah. Uh, and that's a knight in chest, by the way. Okay, so that would then go here. And then this one. No, sir. Stop. Stop. Okay. Sir, why? Why, why is this freezing? Why is it freezing? Dude, what the... Are you good now? 
What the hell? I mean, I've got everything on, like, solid state drives now, so it shouldn't be freezing like this. It's just weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Can you stop freezing on me, please? Like, what, what, what is this? Sir. Is it just like switching between here? No, that one did just fine. I was thinking maybe it was like switching between this part to a, you know, three, whatever, Chevron welder thing. The elite one? I don't know. Apparently not. And apparently I also need small steel tubes. Okay. Grab those ones. That one should have them already. Good. Okay. And then we have this one. And then we should have another one here. This, I don't, I don't understand why this thing is like freezing on me. That's just weird. Okay, so we've got this pretty much set up all the way again. Um, I'm gonna rebuild the cage. Wow, we blew out quite a lot of this, didn't we? Okay, so there's that part. Those, both of those pieces were just placed out in the middle of nowhere, so that's that's super fun. All right. Okay. Now, I need to figure out this part again. And I know that I should probably do this without having the cage in place, but, you know, it'll just make everything a little bit easier. Um, but I do want to make sure that as this thing is moving through its, you know, process, uh, it's not getting stuck anywhere or on anything. So that's why I want the cage to be here. Um, even if it is probably going to make things a little bit more difficult on me, it'll be fine. How am I out of steel plates, sir? I just grabbed like... Didn't I just grab like 200? Uh, that's fine. There we go, I have 220 steel plate now. All right, so you can go there. And then you can all, sir. Can, can you like actually stay without going crazy? Yes, I know that there's a button to do that. But I like having the auto... Well, do I like having the auto rotate on here? I don't, I don't know. Because sometimes, like, you'll pick a part and it will actually be rotated correctly and you don't have to, like, mess with it. Whereas, if you didn't have that, then you probably would. Um, and I think that's T that turns off the auto rotate. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll turn it off, see how I feel about it. Um, okay, so that's that. Okay, now we have... One, two, three, four. Okay, so in between here. So one, two, three, four. And then up there, it's gonna be that piece, and then that goes there. And that's where those were supposed to be. All right. And then once I get these two pieces built, I'll grab the shuckle and we will put the rest of this together. Um, shuckle, where? Where are you? There it is. And that also has the dual purpose of recharging me, so that's always good. There we go. Okay. So the cage is rebuilt. 
And uh, we were up three before. Um, I added just one more plus a little extra, whatever you know this little bit is. Um, okay. So now what I need to do is get this elevator to move back into its location. And then get the rotor lined up. This is very, very hard to do, especially at an angle like this. But it is sized to just barely fit in here. All right, so now if we have that and we put it down just a little bit. No, okay, hang on. This is, I need to get on here like straight. So let me go like this. I think that's relatively straight, right? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Is that? It's kind of straight. All right. All right. So we kind of got it in here, right? All right? Now I need to get it into here. So that way this thing can line up. Now, how are we relative to the rotor? Now I have to be like very, very careful with this. Please don't break. Oh my goodness. There they go. There they go. What the f Okay. Can you give me back my ship, please? Okay, sir. And I'm gonna go see if I can... Where the hell did that even go? went. Where did it go? Oh, it's way down there already. No, is that it? Or is that a crash? Shit, I need to not get close to any of this because they will launch uh, stuff at me. <sighs> okay. So I don't, I don't know what that was. Um, but dude, that just got flung like 100 meters per second, like just gone. And the only reason why this little ship survived is because it's got thrusters and it was able to stop itself. That is insane. I don't like. How are the physics working in this game that something like that is even possible? That's what I want to know. Like, how? How? How is that even a thing? Let's see if I need to repair anything. Doesn't appear to be so. All right. So apparently this thing made it out undamaged, which is good. The bad thing is my elevator is now completely gone. And I gotta start over from scratch. Like how, how, how? I don't understand. I mean, all it's got to do is just climb up this rotor, rotor little, little rotor system, that's it. Just one attaches, one detaches, you extend or contract the pistons, and then it just, you do it again, and it just repeats. Then you run that on the timer, and then when the timer runs out, it turns everything off, and you're good to go. It's, it's not rocket science. It really isn't. And I don't understand why something this simple just does not ever want to work. All right, so now I got to get this thing to line up somehow. All right. Now, 
is there like a setting in here like okay so if we turn do you think it was the because the rotor lock was on okay we'll turn that we'll turn that off velocity is at zero that's fine How am I, dude? I literally just got water like fucking two minutes ago. Sorry, I'm swearing. Um, there. Now I won't be thirsty or hungry. So I need you to go towards that. So if you don't mind. And then I need you, once you're close, to attach. Thank you. OK. So we've got that sort of doing what it needs to do. OK, good. Now. Um, I think I actually did this in the wrong order. Because I still have to put the piston on here. So if I put that piston part on here, and then I get a piston in here somehow. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this isn't terrible. This is just bad. It's all bad. This is just not good. And it was going so well. I thought I thought, you know, we would have been, you know, like close to getting this thing to do like what I needed it to do. But apparently not. Alright, so that needs to go sort of in that orientation. And then we'll get rid of that. And then I need to somehow Get that thing to move closer, very, very carefully. Okay, and then we will attach. Perfect, all right, good, good, all right. So now we will turn this thing on, and we will rotate this thing. Rotor lock is not on. Okay, so there's the rotor displacement that I was looking for before, couldn't find. Okay, so there's that. Now, why do you not want to rotate at all? Okay, block is on, inertial tensor. Okay, we'll turn the inertial tensor off. Oh, now it wants to work, okay. Okay, so we're gonna make, if we're going down right now, then I'm gonna make the lower limit. No, we're going up right now, right? So let me make the upper limit 270. And then we'll rotate this that way until it gets stuck there. Okay, so now we've got that. Turn the rotor lock on and we'll turn the rotor itself off. So now when it reconnects, it shouldn't try to connect to anything else. It's my hope anyways. Okay. And then from here, we take this guy, flip him around the other way. I think I built this in the wrong order. I should have done the bottom one first. 
so that way I could connect it onto that guy. But I think I, I, I can make it work, it's fine. I need large steel tubes for that. Get rid of this, get rid of this, and get rid of this. Now hopefully that will be enough to allow me to put another rotor on here, facing the wall. Okay, and it is good, all right. Get rid of that part, build this guy. There's that, and now we can put the wall back, and we can put the rotor part on the wall. Okay. So now that we've got that on there, I need to make sure that I, uh, praise Lord Clang, uh, please allow this to work without breaking. Okay, so now this is connected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock the rotor. And I'm gonna turn this thing off. We're gonna share the inertial tensor. And we're gonna increase the rotor displacement so that way it is proper on there. Sir, keep it where it was, thank you. All right, so now that that's there, when I disconnect this one, I can now extend this, and that will bring my platform up, so that way I can then build upon it. Okay. So, uh, we have to go down but I need to make sure that I leave space for that on there, so that is why I had all of this stuff on there, like that, uh, kind of going around. Um, so that way when this is all the way down, it won't hit the rotor at all and then cause things to break. And then I also have to do the same thing up here on either side, so that means that I'm gonna need a block here as well. That's just going to go all the way through, which is fine. That's going to go all the way through, okay. And then that gets rotated around, okay. And that is how we make space for our rotors. Okay. Now, just on the other side of this is going to be the wall for the inside. And then our actual floor is going to be on this level here. At least I think that's how it's going to work. Let me check real quick. Okay, so this is our actual floor right here. Now, uh, we have to go with these parts here. Um, and we're gonna make that go down like that. And then, yeah, like that. And then once we've got that in there, we need to take this guy again. And basically we're just making like a little pocket for the rotor. So that gives it plenty of space to do what it needs to do. And uh, you cannot place anything directly next to it. Um, so like, for for example, if I were to take this, this block right here out and then try to place it, it won't let me. The only reason why I was able to place it is because the piston was extended and this wasn't around the rotor. So now that we've got that, we need to do the same thing over here. So that's gonna be around like this and like that, okay. All right, so you see how this isn't letting me actually do it? So even if I wanted to, so what we have to do here is extend that so that, that way it gets it out of the way and I can then place it. Energy low. Energy low. Let 
And like all through building this thing, it feels like I'm I'm only working on it for like two minutes and it's like my my energy is like gone. And it's like then I gotta recharge, then I get back out, and it's like another two minutes and it's gone again. Even though I know that it's longer than two minutes, it feels like it's only two minutes. <sighs> okay. So now that we've got that set to where it needs to be, once we put that back in there, the rotor will set in there nice and easy peasy. And then when we connect this thing again, it does that. Now, what we want to do, because you see how it kind of like forces it down a little bit, um, and that's because this rotor here is still connected. So then what we want to do is connect or attach one and detach the other at the same time. And so if I detach, you'll see that it bounces, right? I don't like that. But unfortunately, there's not really much I can do about it. So um, in the space that I have here, I figure I'm going to need four timer blocks. So one timer block is to attach A and detach B. Then I'm going to have another timer block to extend both of the pistons or retract both the pistons. Basically, I'm putting them in reverse. So it's just going to be that for both. So they'll either both retract or both extend. And then the third one is going to be to detach A and attach B, so the opposite of the first one. And then the fourth one is going to be the overall timer, which then will shut off the elevator once it reaches the time that it needs to do or go completely up or down. So that one I get to play around with, but it is going to be a total of four timer blocks. So um, what we can do now is get those timer blocks and place them. And then we'll do, I'm going to need interior plates, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I can actually go through here and go one, two, three, four. And that way I can grab just all the parts all at once. Add it to, what? I didn't want to add anything to the build planner. What are you talking about? Oh, because it was grabbing, okay, never mind. It's just supposed to grab stuff from the build planner, not what I have. Whatever, it's fine. It's fine. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now this can be just a normal block. And then these ones can also be just normal blocks, as well as that one. Alright. So, uh, did I name the pistons yet? Is the question I did not okay so this piston I think is gonna be piston a and then elevator and then this piston oops no sorry this piston is gonna be piston a elevator and then this piston over here is gonna be piston B elevator uh, piston B elevator Alright, and then this is rotor A. Um, if Mr. Iron Barge, if you could get out of the way so I could actually see what I'm writing, that would be amazing. But we'll go with that. Hopefully I did that correctly. Yeah, okay. And then we'll take a look at this one down here. And then this one is going to be rotor B. Elevator. There we go. All right, and then I just need to make sure that this is, oh, let me get this all built up first. All right. So I'm going to color these. So this one is gonna be the overall timer. And then I'm gonna go with blue for the piston extension. And then um, I'll go with green, I guess, for the attach and detach. So there's that one and that one. All right. This way, if I'm color coding them, I can kind of figure out what they're doing. Okay, so now for this one, oh, and I have to na name all these things too. Okay, so this is timer one or A. I can do timer A. Uh, elevator, I mean, do I need to call it A? I could do just timer one elevator. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, elevator, all right. And this is going to be timer two. Two elevator, and then 
this one's going to be timer three. Then this one is going to be timer four. All right. <sighs> Man. So, because we are in space, there is no gravity to pull this down. So, provided this thing does not go absolutely crazy again, um, I should be able to make this work. So, uh, and then I think what I did after this is I had like a bench on here or something. Yeah, I had a bench over here and a bench over here. So I'll put those back and I'll build the floor out a little bit more right here. So I have something to sit and access things. Um, and I'm gonna get all of these things built real quick. There we go. And we'll do a bench. So there's that bench, there's that bench. And I did think about making like a wheeled elevator, but then, I don't know, I just felt it would be too much hassle. And then also I need to make sure that we have one, two, three, four, five blocks. We do, okay, good. And then I know that we have five blocks over here. Two, three, four, five, and that's for the doors. So we'll throw those on here too. And then that is where those go. And then we'll be just inside the door here with the bench, so that actually works out. Same over here, okay, good to go. <sighs> okay. So, uh, now we have to see all of our elevator pieces. So this one here, we're gonna set up the actions. Uh, elevator. This is why you name everything with elevator, so that way when you type in elevator, it pulls up just the stuff you want. Okay, so this is going to be attach A and detach B. Okay. Now there's also going to be a trigger the next timer as well. Um, I'm not going to put that in there yet. Okay, and then this one is going to be the piston reversals. So it's going to be both of these at the same time. Okay, and once again, this is gonna trigger the third timer after it's done. Um, then we'll go into this one. Now this is gonna be detach A and attach B. Okay, and then this is also gonna trigger timer four. And then the fourth timer is, well no, this is gonna trigger timer one once it's done. And then the fourth timer is going to basically kill everything uh, once we get that done. So I wonder, can we use the fourth timer to also, well, no, because the timer only triggers once, right? Like you can add a delay on there and then it just triggers whatever, or it'll trigger immediately. So I, I may end up needing another one, unless, when I trigger timer one, if that triggers automatically, I can also have that trigger four, which will do the countdown. And then however, whatever time that ends up being, um, it'll just kind of stop. Okay, but so now that we've got that. Okay, so right now, A is attached, and B should be detached. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to trigger timer two. So this is the pistons. Um, so we're just going to trigger this one now and we should move down. I feel like I am missing. Do you have your, yeah, you need that on the inertial tensor. Okay. Now these pieces right here will phase through blocks. Um, but I do have to make sure that this is like 
matched up correctly, which it looks like it is. Okay, so now I need to detach A. Can I trigger this one? Okay. Now hopefully this doesn't blow up on me. So this will detach A and attach B. Please don't blow up. Okay, so that's what it was supposed to do. And then we trigger this one again. Oh. Hmm. So I'm having it go one, two, three, two, one, two, three, and it doesn't work like that. So I think I might have to change this one to be a piston one as well. So that way this triggers two, two triggers three. Because then if, if two is triggering three, and then I have three trigger back to two, two is just gonna trigger three again. So I think I have to update timer four. Oh, man, okay. And then timer four is just gonna be another piston extend or retract. So we'll change this. Um, piston, wait, no, elevator. There we go. Um, all right, we'll have that reverse, we'll have that reverse. Okay, and then I need to change the color to blue because that's gonna be for the pistons again. All right, and then I'm gonna need a fifth timer now, which is great. <clears throat> so, so that has then done that. And then this guy needs to be triggered to move this down. And then that goes back to timer one, which then triggers, switches, um, from rotor A to uh, rotor B to rotor A, and then we extend these again, and it continues to move down. Okay, and then once that one's triggered, then we have to switch them again. Okay, I don't like the bouncing, but it is working. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was an offset um, that I forgot to put in here. Okay. So that is not what I want, sir. Um, okay, piston B elevator. So maximum distance, I'm gonna change this to, I think it's 1.975. And then I think piston A is the same. .975. All right. So I know it's, it's not much. Um, but it might help. Now we are attached on B. Okay, so that would be this one that we just triggered. So then we do this again. Okay, now this should line up a bit better so it bounces less. We'll see how that goes. So then we are going back to A. Still bounces, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. If this took damage too, why did this take damage? Um, okay, so now that this one is disconnected, how... I mean, it looks like it's right on. Okay, so we just triggered A, so that should be attached, yes? Okay, so which that means that B is detached. So then we trigger this one, and it goes down again. And I want to see how this lines up. Still a little off. Okay, so what if we make this instead of 975? We just make this 97. The idea here is to make this as smooth as possible. Okay, and then this one is attached. Okay, and then we are extended, so then we have to do this one. Okay, that was a lot less bounce, I like that. And then we'll trigger this, and then it moves down again. Okay. And then we just keep on going through here. I did not like that bounce. Okay. That should be attached now. Okay. 
Let me try 1.96. See how that feels. No, that's rotor B, sir. Give me the piston. Thank you. 0.96. Okay, that was already on 0.96. Did I miss that one? Piston B. Okay, sir, where's piston A? Get piston A, there we go. There we go, 1.96. Okay, so now that is attached and we just extended. So I think we gotta go here. Okay, so now it's like moving up. I don't know, this is just, I know, wrong way. Okay. So I think we gotta go here and then here to move down, there we go. So I think I have this set up correctly, at least with the order, order of operations, but depending on if you start from this one or from this one, that will determine whether you go up or down. And you can still go like straight through, like so it'll go three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or it'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So I think it's still all in the same um, direction, I suppose. Okay, so now that is attached. So we want to detach A and attach B. So that would be this one. And then make it go down again. That was four. And then we trigger that one. And that goes down again. And then we trigger that one. And then that one goes down again. And that was four again, so then we go down here. All right, and then we trigger that, and then we bring it down for the final time. That will bring us actually down to our floor that we need. Oh, that does not line up right there. Okay, that is something I'm gonna have to look into. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I can always take out this part here and kind of change this up a little bit. And I think this was correct over here on this part. And then if I were to see kind of where this is, that's like the edge right there. Okay, so that's good. I think. And then that is part of that. Okay. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And then we'll replace this one with a curved block. And now if we can build this thing to go around here, and then I also have to figure out where this is relative to that. Okay, so that's gotta go out to here as well. Sir, it's not where you were supposed to go. All right, and then we go out one, two, three, four from the door, so that's one, two, so that is where that goes. And then once I get this elevator kind of at least a little bit more operational, um, this will be how we get. And also, how am I going to do? Wait, wait, wait. We need that, 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 and then that is the, that piece, right. I'm trying to make this match what I've got for um, my holes, or the hole, the shaft. There is no easy way to say this without it sounding like something else. So 
I'm just going to say the shaft hole, the elevator shaft hole. I'm trying to make this match that. So this hole right here that I've made in the elevator shaft, I'm trying to make the floor here match that. And then uh, this has got to go as well. And I think this is here like that. I believe anyways. Yeah. And then I think that should just barely clear, but it's, oh, it is actually gonna let me put that in there. Oh, amazing. Look at that. Fancy. And then I'll just do the same thing over here. Hopefully it lets me do it. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. And then, no, yeah, okay, good. I'm actually extremely surprised that it let me put all that stuff there. I know that welding by myself uses up a lot of it. And wow, we are we're at an hour already in this video? Jeez. Like seriously, where does the time go? <sighs> okay, so we've made it go from all the way up there, all the way down to here, using the timer blocks so we know that it works. Now the question is if we string it all together, is it still gonna work? And that is the question. All right, and then I'll build this stuff out, I suppose. And then I can build this. Oh, did you put in? Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay. Sorry, I am talking slash arguing with myself. So just, uh, just ignore me. It's cool. Okay, so I think that is how that's basically gonna have to go. And of course I need more plates. All right, so that I don't need plate. This stuff, I'll grab a couple hundred. All right. Okay, so we've got that, and I think this is going to have to be this piece here. Because I think we can stick a uh, half block in here. If it'll actually let me do that, probably not. Nope. Oh, no, it will. Wow. Look at that. It's so fancy. All right. And then will it let me put it in here as well? No, it will not. That's fine though. Um, we will get to that and it's not gonna let me put it in here either, which is fine. Uh, can I? No, it's not gonna let me put in those pieces at all. Okay, it's not gonna let me put in that one or some of those, okay. <sighs> okay, what do we have over here? Here. Okay, so this has to be built out as well. And then this gets the 45, I think. And then this gets the two by one bases. And I think that matches up with that, okay. Now we need another two by one base in here. I'm surprised it's actually letting me place most of these blocks. Like that's kind of amazing to me. 
Um, I know for sure it's not going to place, place those ones, but that is where those would go if they were there. And that's just going to be a 45 right there, so that's fine too. Um, and then this is not going to be a full block, so we have to put a half block here. Um, so that's going to be this guy. He's going to go to there. And then, honestly, we could probably put in another one there. And then do the 2 by one tip there. And that is how that would look. Okay. So there is that. Sort of. Anyways. Now, I could put these, I mean, I'm going to need another timer block in here, but I could put some buttons on here, so for like up and down, right, and I'll just have them be specific buttons. Um, but then again, now that I think about it, depending on, no, I mean, I'd have to think about that. Why is that Omong so freaking close? What are you, are you crashing into the planet right now? Is that what you're doing? What are you doing? Is he crashing into the planet? It looks like he's being sucked down by gravity. I don't know. It is hard to tell. It looks like he's speeding up, though, so I think he's caught by gravity. Which means he might crash. Likely he's going to crash. I think he's speeding up even more. I mean, this would be a pretty fancy way to end the videos by a huge ass crash yeah he's definitely going faster I think he's trying really really hard to fight gravity and it's like oh dude no he's just speeding up this is gonna be yeah it'd be funny if it hit that one I don't think that's gonna happen though but then again you never know I mean it's, it's going really fast dude that's that's a crash that's absolutely a crash see there's Anything? Oh, you can see the shadow? There it went. Boom. It looks like he got basically destroyed. But hey, more wreckage for me to clean up or pick up, I suppose, later. Um, but yeah, so we are over an hour in this. Uh, we have uh, something that looks like an elevator. Um, I need to replace that with one of these. So that way it can actually, you know operate as intended um, and I'm wondering if I should replace this entire inner column here with this so at least it's the same all the way through I think that might be a good idea but we'll see we'll see but yeah so that is my elevator concept idea thing whatever you want to call it um, it technically works um, whether or not it'll work once I actually, you know, put it on the actual timer, so you just hit one button and it just goes. Uh, that is another question. But this is kind of what it's going to look like. I was planning on putting like some plants or something in here, but uh, the planter, whatever thing, takes up like five blocks. It's like a five by one by two, and that's I, I don't have enough space in here for that. So. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'll set up this video to go out tomorrow. Uh, it's Friday now, so it'll go out tomorrow, Saturday at 10 a.m. Because that's when, whenever I schedule these things, I like to have them come out at 10 a.m. I don't know why. It's just a thing that I'm doing. But uh, now that I'm down here, I suppose I'll just go into here. And then go down to here. And then hop into here, and this is where we will end. So, that was the video. Um, started off um, interesting, shall we say. And uh, ended up probably interesting as well. I mean, we have to watch a crash. That's kind of interesting, right? But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it and find some humor in it at least. But that's all I got for you now. So, until the next time, have a good one.